All right then, so hey, what's up guys, it's Poto here, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking, this is gonna be my first order in Chaos discussion, normally I just talk about PvP, but this time I'm gonna do something that um, I think that, you know, Game Off really needs, because um, as of now, I think a lot of the older players will recognize the downward spiral of the game, and how, you know, a lot of people are leaving the game right now, a lot of them, and I can just show you like a quick slide, show the amount of people who just left, and um, it's really sad actually because I joined Order and Chaos um like a couple months ago, and then um I was blown away by the game. But then I keep hearing stories about how you know the game used to be so much better. So then um this is the top ten changes that I personally want in Order and Chaos. I'm gonna try to make them as re reasonable as possible. But I mean some of these these keep in mind this is just what I want, not necessarily what's gonna happen. So keep in mind there's a big difference. But anyways um I think some of you guys can agree with this. And if you disagree, then you can post why and tell me your top 10 demands or top 10 wants or your wish list in order and chaos and the background some PvP gameplay. And I'm I mean like let me interrupt this discussion, but my partner was fucking rude. He was it was a random queue. I do random queues now just so I can learn more about the class. Because I believe me personally, I believe that if you have a not so experienced partner, you learn a little more about yourself, a little more about your class and how to deal with it. So in so if you have a bad partner, you have to compensate for it by playing better yourself. So um, anyways, that's just an explanation. My blind partner was fucking rude. I mean, I'll just say that right now. Uh, if you're watching, I don't care. You, you were just a bastard to like some of our opponents. And so anyways, um, anyways, my very first change and one of like the change I hate the most, the room buffs. I want them gone. I want all of them gone. Every single one of them. I don't want those fucking birthday cake bullshits as well. I mean, maybe you can. Maybe I don't mind the birthday cake. Maybe you can get it like once every year, but or some shit like that. But I mean, seriously, every single room buff. I actually hate them. The 20% resilience and 20% stamina buff, like holy shit, that, that like pretty much doubles your health. Your resilience is going to increase by 20% and your stamina, like well what? Like the, i seen tanks with like, you know, 20k armor, with like 20k health, melees with 14k health as well. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. Like why did they, like I know they're trying to milk us for money, but um, still, it just completely ruined the arena. Like, I mean, I mean, a lot of these teams which I normally would have beaten easily, I now struggle with or they sometimes beat me because just because they have room buffs on and they have like double the amount of health I do. I personally, I never use room buffs. I never buy them and maybe I win like an agility room buff or something from like the from like the random lotto. But um, other than that, I don't specifically go out of my way to buff myself because I think that just takes away the challenge of the game. And then if I want to get a good ranking, I want to actually earn it. But unfortunately, it, come, it has come to the point where the buffs are so good, you cannot get champion. Like I mean, like I'm flat out serious. You really just cannot get champion or cannot do particularly well um, unless you buff yourself. I mean, some of you may be like, oh, that's not true. I beat like a buffed rune team and blah, blah, blah. Well, let's be honest here, okay? If you want to consistently win an arena now, you're going to need to do broom buffs or else you're going to be losing a lot of pointless times, a lot of pointless times. And it's really unfair because the, raise, the reason why I went PvP is because I thought it would be a much fairer indication of skill. And as of now, it isn't. It's just who has the most amount of money, who is willing to pay, who is willing to pay game off in order to do well. So, anyways, room buffs. I want them all gone. It probably will never happen, but you know, you can. This, like I said, this is my wish list, and what I want happen, not necessarily will happen. So, anyways, um, the next one, I want game of the buff DPS warriors, and a lot of you guys can probably agree with this. DPS warriors are utter bullshit. I mean, they're so bad right now. The moral regeneration, I up to date, I have never lost. To a DPS warrior in a duel or in um or in arena. That's just that's not saying I'm a good player. It's just saying that DPS warriors are just really really bad. I mean since I I mean it baffles me if you lose against a DPS warrior as a sin in arena or a duel like that that's like it just baffles my mind. Like literally you just you just. You just shadow blink, stab, stab, and then bam, they're dead. They just have so little health because that stupid mastery where you get 50% additional damage. Martialist stand, which is the dumbest, which is the dumbest, you know, the dumbest skill I've ever heard. You, you, I mean, your damage, you get 30% more damage. You receive 30% more damage. And, uh, and then you gotta keep in mind that's on top of the 50% more damage that you get. On top of the fact you only have about like 10k health and like, I don't know, 10k armor. I mean, I'm just making some of these. I'm just making some of these stats up, but I mean, they're so squishy. They really can't do anything. And then, um, what they also need is they also need a morale boost. Um, as of now, the default morale is pretty terrible. I mean, you can probably do like one skill off that. And then also the moral regeneration. Even though game of buffed 
the moral regeneration slightly. There's still a lot of other crap. I mean, a lot of the teams in dungeons, um, they'll ref a lot of heroes will refuse to heal them just because they don't. I'm mean, just because unless you're a very skilled DPS warrior like Colby, you're not gonna be getting the same. You're not gonna be getting nearly the amount of same DPS as any other, as even like an archer or whatever. Some may argue with me against that, but I mean, like, let's be honest here. An average noob, he if he doesn't know the game or he doesn't know the warrior class very well, he's not gonna be able to do things. He's not gonna be able to do anything. Instead, he's just gonna be wondering why he has no morale through the throughout the entire throughout the entire time and why he keeps dying instantly whenever he puts up the martialist stand. So. I mean, they seriously need a buff. I mean, it's just so unfriendly to new players who want to actually play DPS warriors, and um, even to a lot of even to a lot of pros, like even Colby himself admits, like in fours, he's like pretty much a hindrance. Like, I mean, it's possible he can do well. He can get the same amount of DPS as a mage, but then he has no stuns. He has no defense. He is pretty much hope. He's pretty much helpless in many different aspects, and it really depends on the healer to keep him alive. And um, regardless, I really think they need a buff. I mean, like, not as strong as they were before. Um, I hear, like, these stories how DPS Wars used to be, like, the shit, and, like, they used to rape everything. But, I mean, not as strong as that, but to a point where it's still skillful to play and not impossible. So, anyways, that's enough with DPS Wars. Keep in mind, I only have one tune. I know how to kill a lot of these classes. I don't know. I don't, a lot of the stuff you're hearing me talk about is what I hear from other people about the class. So, um, yeah, just keep that in mind. I'm no expert in the game. I know the mage class very well, but not too well on the warrior. In fact, the warrior class is the one, is the one class I know the least about. So, um, anyways, my next scribe is the mage, and I want them reworked. And this is how specifically I want them reworked. They should buff ice mage and rework fire. As of now, the mages, all they can do is sky fire. Let, let's be perfectly honest. I mean, if you can, if you can survive their sky fire, you'll pretty much win. I mean, um, if you play smart. Assuming you play smart. Keep in mind all this stuff does not matter if you're a dumbass player and you just do whatever and you just button mash. So this is for the smarter players out there. I mean a lot of them can agree that you know fire mages uh, I mean just mages in general they depend too much on skyfire. And skyfire is a good skill, except it's not a it's not I don't think it's a healthy skill, if you know what that means. It takes away a lot of the skill from the from the class itself. So what I would propose doing is that first of all for the ice mastery, the ice mastery is bullshit. I mean like it's like Oh, everything else like a shield, like the shield, I would increase to 100%. And some of you may call me crazy, but keep in mind, ice mages can't do any damage. So even if they have like a ridiculous amount of health, it doesn't really even matter because they can't kill you anytime soon. But um, probably increase the shield damage to 75% because I mean 50% 50% in um in practical terms is nothing. Like one dagger stack can still pop that shit. So, anyways, um, and I would and I would take away. For the fire mastery for zeal, I would take away the fifty percent damage away, fifty percent increased damage for fire, and instead move it to ice. Let the fire, let the fire master keep the seventy for seventy five percent damage increase the critical spell damage, but move the fifty percent to the ice master, so they can actually do some amount of damage, and ice mages can actually be somewhat viable. Um, also. Also, I would highly recommend them to you know give an ice meteor proc, and what a proc is is basically like like um. It's kind of hard to explain. You can Google that. It's an, it's like a term for WoW for World of Warcraft, but I never played World of Warcraft. I just read about it just so I can you know brush up on some order and chaos, so just so I can see because a lot of the mistakes that you know Game Loft is making right now regarding classes is the same mistakes that you know um Blizzard made with World of Warcraft, and then um, and then uh, I think they have an Ice Meteor proc. I don't know how exactly they can design it. Um, I mean if, I'm pretty sure they can put them if they put their minds to it, they can come up with something. I mean, they've done that all the time in modern combat. I don't know why they just hired the dumbest people for order and chaos. So, um, anyways, um, and then and then um, me personally, I want rock stun back. And rock stun is a uh, rock stun is pretty much like fire barrage, except it doesn't do as much damage. It has a longer cooldown, and then um, it's an ice spell, and it stuns for like one or two seconds. And the reason why I want it back is because. As of now, mages have very little active, have almost no active stuns. Um, some may be like, "Oh, you got stone armor. That's so OP." Well, stone armor, it's I mean, you I mean, stone armor only affects people who are absolutely retarded and actually attacks through it. I mean, if you're a smart player, as you saw, um, I think in the match before against the tank and the sin, the sin specifically waited until stone armor was wore out, and then he OTK, and then both of them just killed me in an instant. And there wasn't that much I can do because I don't have an active stun. It's not an active stun, it's a passive stun, meaning that you have to run into it, meaning that I don't have any control over the stun. It's your decision to attack through the stun. I mean, and then most of the times, smart sins, 
Um, I saw a very highly coordinated attack when you know, I was farming and we went against a real team. And then the iPod, Sinadra, and Zarkus, or some, or Bulgarian, or some other Sin, they specifically said, smoke bomb away when the mage, mages use rock stun. So all of a sudden, rock stun becomes an absolutely useless spell. So, um, this is my personal opinion. You could probably nerf rock stun so it's once every two seconds, and then give back rock piercing, or rock piercing, or whatever that spell was in the level 60 update. Where um you can so and then make it far into the ice tree, make it very far into the ice tree, so fire mages can abuse it, but only ice mages can actually use it. And then permafrost, it should freeze over time. I mean, the thing about permafrost is that it's not, it doesn't really help the help a mage that much. Some of you may argue with me about this, but let's be realistic here. If you want to do well in arena with a permafrost build, you're gonna keep permafrost at rank one, and even at rank six bajillion or the maximum rank, you're gonna be doing like. 200 damage crits like 200 damage and it's gonna be absolutely no damage and not to mention a lot of classes millies 50 percent movement speed they could just run out of it um sins they have shadow blink they could just they could target your partner and get out of it immediately warriors they have charge and then um mages they can just keep their distance so they're not a melee dps so permafrost overall it doesn't really punish anyone for getting inside there and it, it indirectly punishes them because if the mage has burnout, then um, it'll do more damage under permafrost. But then it's there's it's not it's a really passive kind of disadvantage, not really an active disadvantage. And the thing I don't like about passive passive buffs, or, you know, or passive advantages, is that they're not as skillful as active damage. Um, it's something that you can actually control, it's not something that you rely on the game on the game mechanics for. So, anyways, um. That's that. Um, permafrost should freeze over time. So if you stay in permafrost for more than three seconds or four seconds, then um, it'll freeze you for I don't know for the rest of the duration or I don't know something like that. And keep in mind, a lot of this is up for grabs. You can edit what I say if you believe you have a better decision. So um, anyways, all right then. So then so that's pretty much no. There's and then this is a change that one for fire mastery. Um, only critical damage increase. Don't give us. Don't give fire damage is more dam more um more more of spell DPS for non crits. And what that will do is that it'll is that um for Ice Mastery, then they can all focus on spell power, since they don't really care as much about crits. And the fire mage can focus only on spell crit because um they want because all the damage will come from critical hits. So in a sense it's kind of drawing a separation between two types of mages and not just a hybrid mage all the time. Anyways, um, and then give back Fire Barrage. Um, the problem with Fire Barrage and I, the quote unquote problem with Fire Barrage in the last in the level sixty update was that both Fire Mages and Ice Mages can use it. Just put the Fire Bar just put Fire Barrage all the way up in the skill tree. Like, like I mean, like the second to last skill tree, or just I mean, like it's better than Flamestorm. I mean, it's it was such a great spell. I don't care if we, I don't care if you make it so that um the cooldown will rule will reset after a crit. I don't really care about that as much. I care more about the fact that the fire mages need some need a better type of active stun. They rely only on the ice tree for their stun. So anyways, um and also increase the fire damage for shockwave and other fire spells so that um because what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna nerf Skyfire. And the reason why is I think Skyfire is just an unhealthy spell for the class. It makes mages it takes away a lot of the skill from mages. So reduce it to like six seconds or seven seconds so that um it won't be a trump card but it'll be like a power boost and at the same time increase the damage or make all the all the other fire spells better so you can compensate for it so you can do damage all the time not only when sky fire is up and i think that will lead to a more skillful play with the mage all right then that's the things i want about the mage change and now for sins i want them reworked as well um the sins they're okay in arena they're not too bad um, but then in world PvP, they're the most annoying classes I've ever dealt with. Um, keep well, there is only eight, but I mean, like they, like they're so irritating. Literally, all they do is that they sneak, they go um shadow strike, they go shadow strike, decapitate, not de not decapitate, um cutthroat, and then they dagger stab, dagger stab, dagger stab, and then bam, you're dead. I mean, there's it's been so many so many times has it happened to me. It's so. It, is so irritating and it's not only me i think a lot of people can you know relate to this especially the ones that are not pvp geared and a lot of times there's nothing you can do against a well geared sin so what i propose is that first remove contracts and instead make it so that it's like the old contract where it resets cooldown 
And then um the reason why is because I mean contract it's not necessary. I mean it's just it's just additional damage for absolutely no reason. The sin class doesn't need that. It's not it doesn't exactly it's not exactly a skillful it's not a very skillful, you know, spell to use. And just like Skyfire, um either a lot of these skills, I mean either they're utter bullshit, like DPS warriors and archers, um like arch shooter stance and martialist stance or whatever, and then order really stupidly good such as skyfire or um skyfire or contracts one of those two or guardian stance and then um what i want is i want to nerf those spells so you have to rely more on skill you have to rely more on you know activating a different variety of a different variety of spells you know not just one spell and by doing that resetting the making making contracts so that it's like the old contract will do is that it was a much more i mean it'll be a much more more um much more skillful spell to use because you have to time it properly. Um, I mean, you can argue that you time contracts properly, but not really. All you need to do is all you need to do is be like, oh, I need to burst DPS right now. Contract, that's it. But then um with the new contract, I what I think will happen is that you're gonna have to activate it in the middle of a battle, and if you activate it wrong, you're gonna waste it. So it'll give you additional stun, but only one time every two minutes. But um you can give I mean a lot of the experience since can give me more can give me more you know discussions on that. You know whether you know you actually agree with this, but um that's just my personal opinions. I think it kind of help with you know the sin problem in the world PVP because as of now the only classes who have the balls to actually go in world PVP are sins. Like I mean eighty percent of the people in Vega are sins. So I'm just saying. Anyways um I want to make it so that sneak is not a twenty percent movement speed buff and instead it's a four. There's instead that it's just normal movement speed and then there will be a two second cool there will be a two second cooldown between every single sneak. And some of these some of these sins, like especially the ones that run around Vega, run around, you know, Mato, run around the world boss gleefully with no with no trouble, with absolutely no risk of getting ganked. Some of you guys may hate me for this, but I mean I mean I pretty personally with my sin all I mean it's. I mean, I don't think some of you guys are realizing the usefulness of twenty percent movement speed and infinite sneak. Like, I mean, it makes you immune to ganking. It makes you. It makes it so that you're like a ganking machine, so you can. You so you always get the first strike. And by doing this, it'll give Sin some amount of weakness when they're in the world PVP. And then um. And then in arena, make it. In arena, make it so that you there you can only sneak four times. And the reason why I would say you can only sneak four times, and you can smoke bomb smoke bomb. As many times as you want, I guess. But um, maybe smoke bomb only four times as well. But the reason why is because I don't want pe is be I think it will reduce the amount of drawing that is done because um as of now the main primary way of actually drawing someone is by sneaking until the five minute timer is up. So um, some of you I mean a lot of experienced sins can talk to me about that and tell me if you guys actually agree. And this is the way that sins were before update, I believe. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. So anyways, um. Also, um, oh yeah, give back, give sins back surprise attack, and surprise attack is basically like it's a skill that stuns your opponent for like three seconds or something. It's based, and then what they did is that they is that they cut that spell and they gave it to Shadow Blink, so Shadow Blink does the exact same thing this does. So um, it makes I mean the main gripe about sins right now, the main gripe. Especially among older sins is not that you know you get killed from sins a lot. It's that sins are skillless to play, and a lot of and a lot of experienced sins can agree with me on this. So I don't, me personally, I never, I never played arena in sins. It's just what I hear from other people. So a lot of guys, so some of you guys can you know, argue with me or support me on this. So um, I think by attack adding surprise attack and adding more spells besides just besides just shadow strike, dagger stab, cutthroat, and shadow blink. Besides those four spells. If you add a, if you have more spells and more you know attacking skills among those, I think that you know you can make a better combination of skills and still do the same amount of DPS. Except it'll ex same amount of DPS, same amount of control. Except the only difference is that now it'll be more skillful. You need to manage more skills now, so manage more attack skill, attacking skills, and manage more control skills. So now that you now by having more to manage, the more skillful player will be able to utilize those better. Okay then, so. Those are my four so far. Um, I'm act. I I I have ten re. I have ten right now in front of me, but I don't think I can make it. I don't think I can actually discuss all ten of them in one video. So, anyways, if you're your rate, comment, subscribe, if you like the video. Um, like the video, put a comment below. Tell me if you guys agree with this list so far. Tell me, or if you disagree, tell me why. Or tell me, and then you can guys can tell me your top four 
or top 10 or just the different changes order and chaos you want in order to you know restore the balance among the classes and you know make it so the arena is more fair make it so the world pvp is more fun and enjoyable don't need to pull your rate comment subscribe and i'll see you guys later